So last week we talked about Deadpool. Uh, I was I rewatched it and he watched it for the first time. And now we are back with Deadpool 2. This is also your first time watching Deadpool 2. What did you think of Deadpool 2? I think, again, it's pretty good. I think I'm realizing maybe Deadpool is not like my exact type of movie, but it was really good. I thought this movie was funnier, in my opinion. It wasn't as many like, like, hey, look at my look at my balls jokes. It was more like, some of the humor is a little more creative, I thought. I love the new characters. Um, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, and um, I think for me, I've always liked the original Deadpool more than Deadpool 2. And I think it's because Deadpool 2 tries to go for the heart mm-hmm. more. Like it tries to go for more of a serious tone, having a, uh, a a deeper theme. How did you, what did you think of that? Like with this one? Yeah, with Dead, like, what did you think of Deadpool two trying to go a little bit deeper, a little bit, do a little bit more with the story? I think that it did surprise me that in those like serious moments, like especially like when he was like kind of in the afterlife, like they didn't crack a joke in the middle of that. Mm-hmm. I I was impressed that they were had a, a little restraint with it, um, but sometimes I just it, the, it was hard for me to buy into that serious tone. Just like when the rest of the movie kind of feels like it's not a part of it. It's like, it feels like it's not in his mind until he's there, mm-hmm. which obviously like that should, that is the driving part of like the driving thing in the whole plot, but it didn't feel like it to me. what do you think? And well, I, I, I guess the best example of this is uh Deadpool's death scene. Um, I guess technically there are numerous death scenes right. where he dies, but I'm thinking the one at the end where he's, he's there and it, it's, they draw it out so long. Oh, yeah. And then he, they just funny. keep cracking jokes. And to me, it's like the way I see it, it's like they undercut all the emotional moments with jokes. And so none of the emotional moments really have that much weight and not very much impact. So that's kind of where, and that's kind of why I didn't really like Deadpool 2 as much as, as the original one, is because the original one did, wasn't trying to go for the depth that, the, that Deadpool 2 was going for. And. So when Deadpool 2 tries to go for that like like more emotional mm-hmm. core then it just kind of fails at doing that because it's a it's a comedy it's he's a comedic character and that's when he's best is when he's being comedic right. but like and I think I think I think there's a world where they could have made it work and they could have done it better um because there's a lot of trauma with Deadpool there's a lot there and they there's something that could have happened that they could have made it work um, but right. they just couldn't stop themselves from making too many jokes and just kind of undercut everything. So, um, yeah, to me, it felt like there was just, it was, it was going for so many different things at one time, like introducing time travel, which like trying to understand the logic of the time travel in the middle of the fourth wall breaks just like, I don't know what the rules are. And since he can break the fourth wall, like it doesn't feel like it even matters. Like if I, I understand the rules. I don't think rules. it does. And um, this is actually, so that, this is why, uh, I don't, have you seen any of the trailers for Deadpool and Wolverine? Mm-hmm. So you know that um, the TVA is involved in this, right? Right. And I, I hope this makes more sense now why the TVA is involved. Um, because like now, now he's, he's the time traveler and he, travels and uh, mm. he can you know travel all over the place and obviously between realities because he's traveling to the real world killing ryan reynolds he's right. traveling to um the x-men un- universes uh well actually it's more of the real world than actual dc but I, oh yeah you're um, right that was real ryan reynolds real ryan reynolds uh yeah. and then uh he travels to you know the x-men universe to kill dead right. that version of deadpool uh, so that never happens, um, which is which is why we both watched X Men Origins Wolverine right before this movie. Uh, so because uh, neither of us had seen it, and that way we could uh, get the jokes with that. And uh, mm-hmm. uh, there was actually uh, there was another joke. Um, so I think I think last week I told you that there was a figurine. It was the Deadpool figurine from like the Wep- Weapon Eleven uh, Deadpool. They had yeah. a figurine of that in the first movie. And in this movie, they had two references to that Deadpool. Remember that? Yes. 
Yes, my it was part, one of my favorite jokes in the whole movie is on that. It's not a train, I guess. Was it a train or just a weird truck? It was a really large truck. Okay. Yeah. Where he splits the bullet just like in X-Men Origins, mm -hmm. which I thought was the coolest thing in X-Men Origins. Mm -hmm. And then doing all the sword, like it looks like he's deflecting all the bullets and then you just look behind him and they're just all getting, like he hasn't stopped a single one. <laughs> It was I, I laughed like I didn't laugh out loud much, especially watching I did. by myself. But I I, actually, I, did, I had to pause the movie to finish laughing before I yeah, continued that on. That was fantastic. It was it was amazing. Uh I loved that bit just because uh yeah, especially after seeing X Men Origins Wolverine and then um you know, seeing the slice and then seeing cause when I was watching X Men Origins Wolverine, it was like it was like like he's moving his hand so slowly you cannot believe that he's actually deflecting all those bullets because mm. you don't see the like you you see the the blurs but you don't actually it doesn't make any sense. Um and then and then basically he's making a joke on that by doing the exact same thing in the exact same style but then mm. showing that he's getting hit with every single bullet. Yeah. That's fine because it's Deadpool. He can You're he right. can survive anything. Uh so that was that was so funny. Um also, there's. Uh, do you remember the joke in the first movie um, when I, th I think it was towards the I want to say towards the middle or towards the end when he's he's I think he's going off uh, to get to kill uh, Francis, right? Mm -hmm. And um, he tells Al he's like uh, he tells her that he's like I've got a bunch of coke a stash of cocaine right next to the cure for blindness. Oh yeah, and then the cure of blindness was and then actually. In this right movie, next they paid it off where he he goes back, he un, he takes out the uh, like a floorboard, and there's a bunch of cocaine in there, and there's a box that says "cure for blindness" on it. Yeah, I I did notice that. That was funny. <laughs> that was a great uh, payoff. And did you notice they did the uh, the uh they they did the credits thing again here? Did you notice that? I did notice it this time since you pointed it out from the first one. I didn't just skip the credits like I normally do. Because those aren't the actual credits. <laughs> yeah, and they had they had a bunch of really funny jokes in there. Um, also, another interesting fact: uh, Did you know that the Vanisher is played by Brad Pitt? Well, I did learn that from the one scene where he grabs the <laughs> wire. And I, I was, it didn't even look like it was like they videoed. It looked like they just took a picture of Brad Pitt just holding. <laughs> it didn't look like there was any. I, I don't even know if he was in the studio for it. But it was very I good. I don't know. Uh, I actually didn't realize that until I found out later on. And then uh, I think this was the first time watching the movie where I knew it beforehand. So, But then I was, I was like, oh, gosh, I don't know how I didn't notice that. Because he was, he was on the screen for long enough for you to recognize him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely the joke that this is Brad Pitt. Yeah. 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 Um, how did you like the fourth wall breaking compared to the last movie? I thought, for the most part, I... I, like I said, I think the one thing this movie did better was the jokes, and I think mm -hmm. the fourth wall is the same. I think maybe the only things that I was like, eh, I guess I can get go along with it is when they would excuse bad writing by Deadpool saying it's bad writing. Mm -hmm. Like when, when Cable's like, I only have t uh, two charges enough to get here and back, and Deadpool's like, well, that's just lazy writing. Yeah. You know, like, or like, here's, here's the big CGI fight. It's like, it it is funny, but there's a couple of moments like I feel like you just use that to kind of cop out a couple of things. <laughs> Maybe you added it later. Yeah, yeah, they definitely could do that. Um, I I definitely felt like the there were a lot more fourth wall breaking jokes, and I felt like they were, um, I think also more a bit more creative. I want to say, oh, yeah. um, there, there was there was a lot more uh, where they were referencing. God, I'm blanking on all the all the jokes right now but um if they felt more it felt more blatant and it's like like more integrated i guess into the actual mm -hmm. story and um he felt like he was actually he, he kept talking about like the studio or whatever um, yeah like we they can't give us one good x-men <laughs> <laughs> you have all the x-men just like closing the door yeah um yeah, it's like no, we don't have the budget for that. Uh, I think, and this is definitely in a different universe than the X Men movies because um, in honestly, it was X Two. Uh, there's Jug, like there's uh, you actually. I think it was X Men: The Last Stand. So that would be the third X Men movie, I believe. Juggernaut's in there. Much, much smaller guy. Much smaller mm. guy. I think it was made in two thousand six. If I'm if I'm correct. 
Um, and then they also have Colossus, and he turns met like he's he's just like a bit of a taller guy, and he turns metal. And I think he was in hmm. X two in the third one as well. Um, does that work, or did the, does this movie do that better? Oh, hundred percent better. Hundred. This movie better. does it better. Um, hmm. The older movies, they were ashamed of the co- it's, it's basically they're ashamed of the comics, right? Um, mm. You have a lot of, especially like in comics, you have a lot of like wild iconography and like really crazy stuff. Like, you know, like with Deadpool and Wolverine, we're finally getting a comics accurate Wolverine suit, right? right? Because he was always wearing like black leather or just whatever. He never wore like his iconic suit. Um, but since the days of the MCU, we've gotten more and more um, into those comic book and they look cool too. Like right. they figured out how to make comic accurate suits look cool, you know, yeah, and they don't realize being nerdy can make money. Yeah. Well, and then not, not only that, but like you look at some older suits and they look, they look cringe, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they don't have, there's not much design to them. Like you look at like the 70s Superman suit and it's just fabric and it's not, doesn't look all that interesting because it's a very plain outfit on paper Mm -hmm. but then you look at the more modern suits and there's a lot of texture and design and detail that go and they look awesome right yeah um and so they have and like the deadpool suit you know in x-men origins wolverine they were shamed of deadpool so what did they do they changed him to be what they wanted which is worse way worse than what they had and so it's it's kind of cringe when like every when everybody just has black outfits and it's like Where's where's the where where's the iconic suits? Why why like everybody? I f- forget who's who. Like you know, I don't know like mm-hmm. who which characters which character because they all look the same. They all just look like people with superpowers, and it's mm-hmm. not really that interesting. Versus a lot more of the modern ones, they embrace the colorful costumes and all that stuff, and it looks cool. It looks good, and it gives them distinct personality. In their characters design, I agree. Um, also, at the in the end, uh, at the end, like boss fight, um, did you listen to the lyrics of the song when they were fighting Juggernaut? Yes, I did, <laughs> and I completely forgot about that. So you just now brought it up. I can't even remember what the lyrics were, but yeah, it was just I don't like think, I don't want to repeat them. <laughs> yeah, uh, but <laughs> it was like it was basically like. In the terms of oh snap, oh snap, oh snap. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, it was we're screwed. Good. The music was really good in this movie. Uh, they also they brought in dubstep a couple of times. Yeah, um, that, was, that was a weird joke, but it worked. <laughs> Deadpool's just like like is dubstep a thing in the future? And then they just start playing, and they, he's like kick on the dubstep, and then start playing mm-hmm. dubstep, and it's funny. Um, I think that's one thing I love about Deadpool's characters. He uses what would be considered cringy, unironically, which then makes it un like he recognizes the cringy aspects, mm-hmm. and then he uses it unironically, and that somehow makes it uncringy. Right. Yeah, just the tone of the movie, it works. Yeah. It shouldn't yeah. work, but it does. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I definitely really like this movie more on upon rewatch from when I originally saw it. Um, it was, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, I was, I was definitely enjoying myself a lot with this movie. It's definitely better than all the X-Men movies so far that I've seen. I've only watched up to X-Men Origins Wolverine. Haven't watched anything past that yet. So, Mm. but, uh, do you have anything else to add? Um, just, I was going to say, I think, I think I like this one better than the first one. I think there's a couple things they maybe missed on, but I think the humor was better. I don't know if the action was better, but it was more expensive, so that's something. <laughs> but definitely, yeah. Um, there was more characters. I really liked the whole X Force team. That was the only part of this movie that I knew going into it was I had okay. seen like a clip of him cast casting his team. Mm-hmm. I didn't know they would die five minutes into the team being formed. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was, was a little a misdirection show. for me. Yeah, and it's um, funny how Deadpool went back only to save Peter. That's yeah, it. just save Peter. Just Peter. I think. Yeah, and then you see in the trailer for the new X or Deadpool, uh, Peter's at the birthday party. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. I I've watched 
Uh, I think I've only watched the trailer whenever it's being shown at the theater. And I think I watched it once outside of that. Um, okay. I try not to go into movies with like hard. I like to go into movies knowing almost nothing. Um, That's fair. So That's the less I, the, so I, I watched enough to get myself interested and then I stopped. So hey, respect to you. I'm not patient enough to do that. If I have a movie I'm excited for, I watch every single thing they put out. I used I used to do that until it ruined a movie for me, and I was like, mm. "Oh, that's not good." And uh, a lot of the movies that I've watched, um, I don't do any research because it's like it, a lot of them are like older movies, and so I don't do any research on them before I watch them. I'm just like, "Oh, I watched this movie, and I don't do any research about it." Sometimes that can be to my own detriment because mm. I'm like, like for instance, I watched the Truman Show. I thought it was about Harry S. Truman. <laughs> wow. Uh, then, then I was like, and I, I, I was watching it for maybe like five, ten minutes. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I looked at the plot synopsis and I was like, oh. And then things may start it's making more sense. Impressive that you went that long without even without knowing what the Truman Show was. Yeah, like yeah. I didn't seek it out, but I just had heard enough things about the Truman Show is already spoiled for me. Oh gosh, yeah, I, I never heard anything about the the Truman Show. I somehow have, I've somehow avoided spoilers for really popular movies for over. Actually, I I don't think I knew the plot twist for Planet of the Apes, the like nineteen sixty eight one. Um, I don't think it's I had heard about that. It's a surprising one to not know. Until uh, until I went to see King of the Planet of the Apes and I had it spoiled for me, um, by by a friend. So uh, wow. <laughs> I was like, because I That's... looked at the plot synopsis and I was like, oh, they went to an alien planet. And I was and when uh, King of the Planet of the Apes was about like future Earth, I was like. I thought they went to another planet because from the first <laughs> the plot synopsis of the first movie, and then she explained to me she was like, "No, they." they and then I was like, "Oh, dang, that's a spoiler!" And I could have had a really cool plot twist of a over fifty year old movie. <laughs> it's but, a, we're getting a little off topic, but have, did you see the movie Sixty Five with Adam Driver? No, uh, I know that he, I I think I heard the spoiler that he was a like an alien. Um, I don't know if he's an alien or not, but there's, so like, that's the thing is there's not really a spoiler because they advertise that he lands on earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would have been so much better if they just didn't say he's landing on earth. And like, you think these are aliens, then all of a sudden just boom, dinosaur, but uh, missed opportunity, but missed opportunity. your Planet of the Apes experience made me think of that. Yeah. So I've, I've had, I've had experiences where I, I watched a very popular movie with very well-known spoilers. And I just didn't know about it. So <laughs> it's fun doing that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some, sometimes I, I won't even point. read a plot synopsis just because I'm was, <laughs> I was just like, I think there was a, I think there was a movie that um, I was given and I didn't know anything about it. And I, I didn't even look up. I don't even look up. Sometimes I don't even look up ratings. Cause I'm like, I don't want that to influence my thought on it. Mm. Cause I'm like, you know, if I'm, I don't know if I'm supposed to like this or dislike it, you know, that's fair. I'm very guilty of that. Yeah, like if I can, I can like something, and then I go later and find that everyone else hated it, and then I convince myself, oh, I didn't like it either. Yeah, uh, I did have one more question for mm -hmm. you about this movie. Mm -hmm. In the in the end credit scene, when you see that he went back and saved, uh, saved his girl, mm -hmm. like with his time traveling, did that does did that undercut the whole movie for you? No. Or you just since it's Deadpool, you can just kind of say, "Yeah, he can do what he wants." Really, uh, I basically see it as like nothing matters in a kind yeah. of sense. It's it's more about the journey than the actual like death, like the, the emotional core of it. It's it's Deadpool. None of this is actually like canon or real or whatever. It's all right. he can do whatever he wants. It's you could say it's an alternate reality or whatever. Um, it's jokes for the point of jokes. Right. Um, oh, wait. I think she is in... Uh, she's in the trailer for Deadpool. She for is. Deadpool. She's standing right next to Peter. Okay. That's... Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the uh, so that does make the all the changes canon to uh, the mm -hmm. timeline. So... Yeah. I never really I thought like, about that. So. This is weird, but Deadpool is probably the only one that you can kind of let it slide for. Yeah. I, I, I'm just like, ah, just, I don't really care. It, let it slide it's you know he's deadpool you know yeah he can do what he wants he basically right. writes the story anyway so mm -hmm. yeah but 
All right, I think that'll uh, do it for us today. Uh, if you guys want to see any more videos, I think we've got at least I've got at least a couple more Deadpool videos coming out soon. Uh, next week we'll have Deadpool and Wolverine, and then the week after that we're going to be doing um, reviewing the Deadpool video game from I think, 2013, if I'm correct. Uh, so if you guys want to see those videos, go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.